What's up guys, it's George Aluyu. Today's video, I just wanna show you guys some of the strategies that I have used before to help boost my ticket sales. Now, selling tickets is important because the more you can sell, the more attractive you really become to promoters. And if you're attracted to promoters, they're gonna put you on their card. So, I don't sell a crazy amount of tickets, but on average, per fight, I'll sell about 120 tickets, which is a pretty good amount of tickets. Selling tickets is important. Boxing is a business. And I feel like it's one of the reasons I was able to fight at the Superfly card at the Step Up Center on my third professional fight without having a promoter because I was able to put people on their seats and enjoy a good night of fighting. Before I go over the strategies, I want to tell you guys why it's important to sell tickets and why it's good for your career. So the first reason selling tickets is going to put you in those boxing cards that you want to be in. Chances are when you're starting off, you're not going to be signed to a promotion or a management company. Promoters want to invest in fighters until they see promise. So until you get until you get that spot on the card and prove yourself, show your talent, show your skills, then promoters will be interested. Assuming you're not an Olympian or this amateur standout with international experience, you're gonna have to work and sell tickets to earn that spot on that card. And again, once you showcase your skills, then the promoters will be more willing to invest in you. The second reason is that the word gets around. Coaches, managers, uh, promoters, they all negotiate deals. It kind of backs up the first reason. If you bring a lot of people to the fight, you might get that offer. Here's an example, there's a big event, let's say like a zone at the Forum. For all you out of state bros, uh, the Forum is a big venue in Inglewood, Southern California. It's a very historic venue. So if you get put on a card like that, that'll be great for your resume. Usually with big events, there's multiple promoters, multiple managers uh, pitching their fighters to get on that card. They do this so they can establish credibility for their team. Let's say you get on this card and you have a great performance and you win, then you and your team are gonna get that recognition. And like many things in life, if you go on there once, chances are you'll go on again and again and again. So if you earn that spot and you win, and next time there's a big event in town again, who are they gonna call? You, the person they trust, the, per the, person, the person they trust, the person that's been there before, the person that can put up that performance. Let's say there's two fighters, fighter A and fighter B. And they say they're both equally matched, you know, similar records, similar experience. But fighter A sells 50 tickets on average and fighter B sells 150 tickets. There's a higher chance they're going to go with the guy that sells more tickets because boxing is a business. They want to make money. So if you attract promoters because you can sell more tickets, then it's going to give you a higher chance of getting on that card. The third reason selling tickets is good, it's commission. Most promotions give a commission per ticket that you sell. So what does that mean? The more tickets you sell, the more money you can make. Some promotions are cash based, so what that means is, let's say they sell you, let's say the they say tickets cost $50 face value, and the promotion will sell it to you for $40. So for every ticket you sell at the face value, you get to keep $10. Now, if you sell 100 tickets, that means you have an extra $1,000 in your pocket just by selling tickets alone. Commissions vary per promoter. Other promotions will just write you a check and 1099 you at the end of the year. So it's up to you. You can sell the tickets at a discounted price or sell them at face value. I personally, my pro debut, I sold them at the discounted rate just because I wanted my people there. I wanted my, my supporters. I just I cared more about my family and my friends having a good time there. And uh, I actually included a free t-shirt with it too, just so I can have that support there. And it actually helped me out because they were more interested in going to the next fight and the next fight and the next fight. So I had the people come and support me and fight and uh, they didn't spend as much money. So those are some of the reasons why selling tickets will help you in your career. Okay, so the first strategy is post on social media. Yes, you probably already do this, but you're probably not getting the responses that you anticipated. Why? Because you're taking a photo of the tickets, you're posting on your story, and you're showing it for everyone. There's no personal connection like that. Your real close friends and family will respond to it, but what about the other 90, 95% of your followers that just view your story and don't respond? More than likely, they see your story and they just click next because they don't feel involved. You have to make them part of your journey. Go ahead, take a picture of the tickets, but send it to them directly, personally. Send them an invitation. Show them that you want them to go support you in your fight. 
Another reason you want to invite them directly and personally is because uh, social media's algorithm changes all the time. Let's take Instagram for example. You may have thousands of followers, but notice you only get a couple hundred views on your story. There's some reasons why. Maybe one, people just don't want to click on your story. Maybe you're too repetitive or for whatever reason, I don't know. They maybe just don't want to click on your story. Or two, you're at the bottom of the list. You'll notice there's a long row. If you're on Instagram, there's a long row of those little circles, you know, the little thumbnails or people's profile pictures that you can click and click on their story. You may be pushed back all the way to the end. Your pictures are getting pushed back and they're not even popping up in their newsfeed. So strategy number one is send them a picture, send them an invitation directly, but don't pressure them or guilt trip them. That's annoying. They're probably not gonna wanna buy a ticket from you if you keep sending them over and over and over and over again. It's good to follow up, but don't pressure them to buy the tickets. So yes, post on your story, post it on your uh, profile, but make sure you send it to them individually. That will give you a higher chance of actually selling your tickets. Strategy number two that you can use is have others sell for you. You can ask a close friend, a relative, or someone you trust and tell them, hey, if you help me sell eight tickets, I'll pay for yours or I'll give you part of the commission. People love to help. And if you do offer a free ticket in exchange for their help, don't give them a crazy amount to sell. Then it doesn't become help, it becomes work. So this one's pretty straightforward. Ask others to help you sell tickets in exchange for a ticket or commission. So that's strategy number two. Strategy number three is do a giveaway. Yes, it's gonna cost you a little bit of money, but it's okay because it's an investment. It's gonna help you out in the long run. You can give away tickets to your fight. You can give away a t-shirt, maybe other merch that you sell. You can pretty much give out anything. It's gonna grab people's attention. Everyone loves free stuff. So you can post something on your social media, have others repost it and tag you or comment or just have them get involved in either sharing one of your posts or purchasing a ticket. Now doing a giveaway won't necessarily boost your ticket sales, but it'll give you more publicity and potentially increase your following. And what do you do? Let's say you get new followers from this giveaway. Chances are they're interested in boxing or they're interested in you or this event. So what do you do? Back to strategy one and create a personalized invitation. Another way to do a giveaway is for every ticket someone purchases, they enter a raffle. So let's say my friend purchases two tickets. I'm going to put his name in a raffle twice. This will encourage your supporters and buyers to purchase multiple tickets opposed to just one. The more tickets they buy, the higher chances they have of winning whatever giveaway you're doing. So there's many ways you can do a giveaway. Just get creative. So that's strategy number three, do a giveaway. The fourth strategy is find a sponsor. Now for this one, it's a little more difficult, but I'm planning to make a in-depth video on how to get sponsors, how to reach out to them, where to find them, what to say when you actually get in contact with them. So make sure you guys subscribe so you'll be notified when it comes out. So now let's say you currently have a sponsor or you're in the works of getting one. You can ask for money to help fund your equipment and training camp, but this video is on ticket sales, so let's stay on track. You can approach a business owner and tell them, hey, if you purchase 20 tickets to my fight, I'll put your company's logo on my shorts or on my team shirt or on any merch that you have. Now let's say the tickets, back to the previous example, let's say the tickets are $50 and you may think, wow, they have to write me a thousand dollar check. This may seem a lot. It's really not that much because those 20 tickets, the business owner can sell it to his friends or he, he can give them away to his employees and make it a company bonding event and he can use that as a tax write-off at the end of the year. Plus the company's logo will be on display, so that's always cool. Mirage Builders, a sponsor of mine, always attend my events, they always purchase tickets, they always have a great time. So shout out to Tim and Carlos and everyone at Mirage Builders. Thank you guys for your support, I really appreciate it. So that's strategy number four, find a sponsor, sell tickets to your sponsor. Again, I'll be making a video on how to get sponsors, so stay tuned, subscribe, like it. So those are the four strategies that I have used to boost my ticket sales. Now here's a bonus one. After your fight, take a group picture. Make it known that you want everyone to be in the picture. They purchase tickets to your fights, so make them part of the team. Take a picture, post it, tag them. Win or lose, share your journey with them. 
People love to be a part of something. And who knows, you may be inspiring someone to follow their dreams, just like you're following yours. So always show your appreciation. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. If you use any other strategies, share them with me in the comment section below. This isn't only for, for boxers. This can be really for anyone, any athlete selling tickets to their fight, any athlete looking to have support from others. So share this with your friends, to any other athlete you may know, or anyone that needs to sell tickets. Again, thanks for watching.